Hi everyone, this is Jackson. I just wanted to show you some features that I discovered in the text-to-speech reader that I mentioned a few videos back. It's called Read Aloud, a text-to-speech voice reader, and if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. So, what's new in the text-to-speech reader? Well, if you right-click the reader and click Options, you'll be taken to the menu. And one of the things that I noticed recently was they just added a bunch of new voices, um, the IBM Watson voices, which I don't really use, but um, most importantly, they added the Google WaveNet uh, US English voices and also a Google WaveNet other voices. So uh, there are a bunch of different voices and they sound very, very good. So let me just change the speed back to normal. And I'm going to open up this tab and test my extension out with my shortcut. Demonstrators gathered outside the city hall to denounce mayor. So that's the Google WaveNet voice A. It sounds okay. Here's B. Demonstrators gathered outside. The Here's voice C. Demonstrators gathered outside the city hall to denounce mayor. This one sounds, in my opinion, better than the other two. Then there's voice uh, D. Demonstrators gathered outside the city hall to denounce Mayor Virginia Raggi for failing to tackle issues. That sounds pretty good to me, but my favorite voice is, uh, well, let's try uh, E first. My favorite voice is F, but let's go with them in order. Demonstrators gathered outside the city hall to denounce Mayor Virginia Raggi for... That one sounds pretty good, but in my opinion, this is the best, and it sounds really good at high speed, so... Demonstrators gathered outside the city hall to denounce Mayor Virginia Raggi for failing to tackle issues including uncollected rubbish and potholed roads. To me, this sounds like a really good voice. Now, there's obviously debate, and so that's why you get to choose whichever voice you want. I'm not sure about all the licensing issues, and so um, you definitely have to research that first. So there are some downsides. For example, if you select a very large block of text, it will not break For it up. more than seven hours over. And so when you want to skip forward and back along large blocks of text, it'll skip by very large chunks, which is okay, but not great. Um, so if you use, for example, the Google Translate voice, um, it will probably break this one up a little bit more. For more See, than seven. It breaks it up into two sentences rather than hours um, over three. Eighteen minutes. Actually, breaks it up in three sentences rather than two, uh, one. But you know, it is a better quality voice. The other thing I've noticed is that um, occasionally while you're skipping forward or back, it randomly will start to um, glitch out. And so I'm not really sure what the issue with that is. But uh, yeah, you're going to have to figure that out and just test it a lot. I think it might just be because it's such a high amount of data that's being run through the uh, thing that it's freezing it up. But it doesn't really matter. Um, now you have at least a little bit more choice. Now, the second feature that I figured out uh, was actually something that I emailed the uh, the developer about. I asked them if they could explain to me how to uh, speed up the voice beyond the slider, and they mentioned that if you click on this little button here, this little pencil, that you can actually write in the speed you want all the way up to 10 times. So you can go up to four times, for example. That's um, pretty fast for me even, so that's something where I go. It's in Red Sox. Nearly. That's pretty fast, um, and if you want to use your um, fancy WaveNet voice, it should work as well. So you can actually go much, much faster than I thought you could before, which is really, really helpful because one of the biggest problems that I run into in any text-to-speech software is that they don't read fast enough. Basically, they all go up to two, maybe three times speed if they're really good, but I have never had an app that actually can read this, this quickly. Now, um, I can't this understand the maximum, but um, I, as I understand it, it can go all the way up to 10 times speed. So, I haven't I haven't actually gotten up to there yet, um, which is fine for me. Um, I don't need to, but um, it's really nice to be able to have that option. I think it's kind of unfortunate when companies decide that we're just going to cap this this option for no reason other than we don't think that people can listen that fast. And so, it's really nice to have this option. The developer was super responsive as well, so props to them. So hopefully this helped uh, inform you a little bit more and it gave you a little more insight into which text-to-speech app you want to choose. I tend to use this the most when I'm in Google Chrome and I use uh, another app, Dictator, when I'm not.
So anyway, that's Read Aloud. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and helps you. If it did, uh, definitely leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to comment if you have any questions. I'll see you next time.